All right, so in this video, I'm going to walk you through on how to make your application display a loading spinner while it's fetching data from the back end in vanilla JavaScript as well as React. So starting with vanilla JavaScript, we have an application here on the right, and it looks like it's loading, except it's not because I have the back end turned off for now. And on the left, we have all the CSS for this loading spinner right here. Uh, this is all the CSS for it, and uh, right here in the index.js, we are creating the loading spinner, and here we're fetching the data from the back end. So the idea behind a loading spinner is to display it um, from the beginning and then hide it once whatever you're trying to load is loaded. So once this fetch call has completed, what we're going to do is get this uh, loading spinner f by the ID of loading and then we're just going to set the display to none. So what, all that's going to do is hide this once the fetch has been completed. So I'm going to turn off the back end or turn off maintenance mode on the back end. Refresh the page and everything is loaded. So I don't know if you can catch this but it's displaying the loading spinner while it's taking a second to load and then it's hiding it once the page is loaded. Moving on to React, uh, this is our component tree for this example application. We have our app at our top level and it's going to do a fetch get to our API to call for scores, high scores of a game. And then our backend is going to send our app the scores, the app is going to save them in state and then send them down to our high scores page as props. So this is what our high scores looks like. Um, and then uh, this is the CSS for our preloader and HTML for our preloader. It's inside of a functional component uh, just so it can be reused elsewhere in the application if need be. Alright, so in our app we have our fetch to our backend, same as before in vanilla JavaScript, except here we're saving our scores to state as an array of objects, each object being a score. And then our app is going to pass the scores down to our high scores page. So here we're going to do a terminary operator to determine if we should render the preloader or not. So we're going to do this dot props dot scores dot length greater than zero do nothing else mount the preloader. Uh, so what this is doing is if the scores, if the array of objects of scores is greater than zero, the, the length of the array of objects of scores is greater than zero, then it's going to do nothing. So nothing's going to be mounted except for the scores. But if, if it is less than zero or equal to zero, then we're going to mount a preloader. This is the opposite of what we did in vanilla JavaScript where we create a preloader and then hit it only once the scores or the content was loaded. Uh, here we're only mounting a preloader um, if the content is loaded, not ahead of time. So I'm going to turn the backend on maintenance mode so we can see the preloader and here it is. Nothing's going to load because the back end is offline. Uh, refresh the page. Nothing's loading. Take it off maintenance mode. Refresh the page again. And now the scores are loaded. And if you can spot it, the preloader is there for just half a second before the scores are loaded.